everyone. Good afternoon. Angela here to uh, share with you Vinyasa Flow. So tonight's practice is Vinyasa 1. If you have at home two blocks, you can prepare two blocks next to your yoga mat. We'll start our practice seated, so take a comfortable seat. You can sit cross-legged or you can sit on your heels. We'll just start our practice. Also, if you feel more comfortable seated on a block, you can sit on a block. Begin our practice by focusing our attention on our breath. So place one hand on your chest and one hand on your stomach. And sitting up as tall as you can, close your eyes and start to turn your focus and attention inward to your breath. See if you can feel the flow of your breath. Notice how you're breathing. On taking slow breaths, deep breaths. We'll place the left hand onto the right ear and begin to tilt our head to the left side. So I want you to feel a stretch running down the side of your neck. Keep your shoulders relaxed.
exhale, hold, pausing for three more deep breaths. Two, release the hand and knee back to the floor. Take a moment and change sides. Left leg goes back, right hand moves forward. Try to find balance as you connect to a deep breath. Moving with the breath, exhaling in, inhaling to extend. One more time, exhale. Reverse 
Nursing Warrior. Deep stretch, moving down the right side of the body. Moving on the exhale, side angle pose. Resting elbow to thigh or sliding fingertips to the inside of the foot. Keep a long straight line with your arms as you look up for three. Two. Side plank. Left hand goes to the floor. Spread the fingers, push down into your left hand. Option one. Halfway down the mat. Option two, feet together. Straight arms, straight legs as the hips move up for three. Two. High plank. Exhale, lower. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, down dog. Slow breaths. Deep breathing. And we'll prepare again, stepping or floating lightly to the top of the mat. Exhale to bow over straight legs. Inhale, rise, extend the arms. Exhale, fold, curl the chin toward the chest. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, right foot back, high lunge. Inhale to rise up. Exhale to warrior two. This time we'll go into humble warrior. Bring your hands behind your back. Interlock your fingers. Stretch your arms straight, but squeeze your palms together. On your exhale, bow forward so the left shoulder comes to the inside of the left knee. Head relaxes, arms stretch forward for three. Two. Both hands go back to the floor and prepare for a plank pose. You have the option of keeping your left leg off the floor. Keeping your left leg straight, exhale to lower chaturanga. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, down dog. Five slow breaths. Feel the sides of the waist lift upward as you push through the heels. The heels do not have to touch the floor. A few more deep breaths. Prepare again. When you're ready, float or step to the top of the mat. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise, extend the arms. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, left foot back. Inhale, rise up, high lunge. Exhale to warrior two. Hands to the lower back. Interlocking the fingers, stretch the arms, shoulder blades and palms in. Exhale to bow forward, humble warrior. Legs are strong as the arms stretch forward, deepening into a stretch for the shoulders. Be mindful of your breathing. When you're ready, bring your hands to the floor, step back into a high plank. Option one, both feet to the floor. Option two is a little bit more advanced. One leg stays up as you exhale for chaturanga. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, down dog. Deep breath. Or floating lightly to the top of the mat. Exhale, bow over straight legs. Inhale, rise, extend the arms. Exhale to fold. Curling chin toward chest. Inhale, halfway lift. Step or jump through your next vinyasa. Draw your lower belly upward. 
On your exhale, slowly take your arms behind your ears. Open up into a deeper stretch. Holding for three. Two. We'll go to twist on our exhale, bringing the left elbow to the outside of the front leg. Press the palms together. Turn your heart toward your thumbs. Hold the back knee to the floor is option one. Option two, push through the heel. Begin to straighten and extend your back leg. Keep pressing the palms to turn the chest more. Find balance for three. Two. And slowly come down to the mat. Stepping back through a one or two leg plank. Exhale to lower. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhaling, down dog. Feet together in dog pose. Inhale, left leg up, dog split. Elevate the right heel. Left foot moves forward between the hands. Right knee to the floor, low lunge. Inhale, rise up. Interlock the fingers, straight arm. So use this opportunity to strengthen your arms and shoulders. Squeeze the arms next to the ears. Put attention into the sole of the front foot so you can balance here. If the upper back is open, bring your arms behind your head. Keep your chest lifted for three. Feel the core draw upward for two. Twisting on the exhale, bring the right elbow to the outside of the front leg. Push the palms together. Hold your twist or advance the twist by putting attention into the back leg. Press through the heel. Strong legs, strong arms. Keep turning the chest toward the thumbs. If it's easy to balance, send your gaze over your top shoulder. Two more breaths. When you're ready to release, hands to the floor, stepping back into high plank. One or two leg chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Slow breaths. Deep breathing. Preparing again, step or float to the top. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise, extend the arms. Exhale to fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Step or jump through your next vinyasa. Inhale, right leg up, dog split. We'll be moving through some core exercises. So as we exhale, we'll squeeze our right knee forward to touch our right arm. See if you can touch the elbow. As you reach back through your toes, stretch back to dog split. Let's do that again. Exhale, right knee forward. Inhale, dog split. Exhale, three more. Inhale, reach. Two. One more. Hold now, elevate the left heel up. Step the right foot forward this time to the outside of the right hand. Place the foot and bring your left knee to the floor. Adjust your front foot, move it forward so that the ankle is directly below the knee. Keep your fingertips to the floor as you bring your chest forward. So you'll feel a deep stretch in the hips. If you want to take the stretch deeper, you're going to bring your blocks underneath the arms. As you come down, you move your chest forward, keeping extension into your spine. We'll stay for 10 more breaths. Comfortable, you can lower the blocks and go a little bit deeper, or you can remove your blocks and bring your elbows down to the floor. This is option one. You can stay in option one, option two. See if you can rise up and bring your back foot in. Bending the knee, circle your right hand to reach for your left foot. Once you have your foot, turn your chest open to your front knee. 
If it feels you can go deeper, bring your elbow back to the block. Keep turning your chest open by bringing your shoulder blades together. Find a deeper stretch in the quadricep by bringing your back foot closer to your hip. Turning the chest up for three more deep breaths. Two. When you're ready to release, release slowly, moving back into dog pose. Take your time, shift weight from heel to heel. Reconnect to a deep breath. When you're ready to flow, make your way through your next vinyasa. Inhaling forward, exhaling down.
working on a variation. The challenge is to bend the back knee. Bring your left foot close to your body. Circle the left hand to reach the inside of the foot. As you reach for the inside of your foot, bend the left arm. Bring your left foot closer to your body. Hold here, stretching the quadricep. You can place your right hand on your thigh or bring your fingertips down to the floor. If it feels easy to bring the foot in, you can move into a separate pose, a different pose, sliding the toes to the elbow. Lift up the left arm, reach back with your right hand. If you can balance, see if you can bring your hands together. Then turn your chest to face the front of the room. Holding for three. Two. When you're ready to release, release your hands, step back into downward dog. Shift weight from heel to heel, pedal the legs, move the hips from side to side. Let's go through another vinyasa, inhaling high plank, exhale, inhale up dog or cobra pose, squeeze the glutes. Exhale, dog pose. Prepare again, step or float lightly to the top. Keep your feet together, exhale as you fold. We'll go back to chair pose, bending both knees. Sit back, inhale, draw the arms next to the ears. Hold for five. Straight arms, palms turning in for four, three, two, inhale to rise, gentle back bend, hips move forward, heart lifts, arms stretch back, exhale, fold, curl chin to meet chest, inhale, halfway lift, step or jump through the next vinyasa. Back in dog pose, join the feet together. Inhale, take the left leg high, dog split. On the exhale, go to pigeon pose, bringing left knee behind left wrist. Come down slowly. Left heel is in line with the hip. Back left leg internally rotates. Find a stretch in your left glute, then begin to come forward, relax the upper body down. Deep breaths. Option one to stay down, option two to come up slowly. Hold here or bring your back foot in. Circle right hand to catch the inside of the foot. Find balance as you bring your foot close to your body. If it's easy to bring the foot in, if you feel you can balance, bring your toes to your elbow. Left hand can stay on the floor or left hand can go up to connect to right hand. Finding your balance, squeeze the inner thighs together to lift your hips. We'll hold for three. Two, when you're ready to release, release in your own time, make your way back to downward dog. Shifting weight from heel to heel, pedaling the legs, deep breaths. Vinyasa. Together in dog pose, right leg goes up for dog split. Left heel elevates, right foot steps forward between the hands. Left knee back to the floor. Hips move back as you straighten your right leg. We'll call this half split. So if you're feeling like it's difficult to keep your straight uh, leg straight, you're gonna take blocks. Blocks go underneath the hands. Foot can move forward a little bit more so your hips are stacked over your back knee. Walk your hands forward, 
Try to keep your spine straight by drawing your chest forward. Feel the deep stretch in the hamstring and the calf. Keep the toes lifted. If it's comfortable to bring your fingertips to the floor, you can bring your fingers down. Just keep the spine extended. If you want to go deeper, bend the elbows, fold over the leg. A few more breaths. For those of you working on a deeper variation of the pose, you're going to move your right foot to the front of your mat. And slide your left knee back a few more inches, go into a full split. You can use blocks underneath your hands. You can even place a block underneath your leg for support. Try to keep your spine straight, lifting your chest. Internal rotation with the back leg. Deep breaths. Holding for three more deep breaths. When you're ready to come out of your splits, slowly come out. Take your time as you slide your right foot back. Curl the left toes under, meet me back in downward dog. Vinyasa. Elevate the right heel, step the left foot forward between the hands. Right knee down to the floor, hips draw back, straighten the front leg. Move your left foot forward till you feel a stretch in your hamstrings. If it feels natural to deepen your stretch, walk your hands forward, fold over the leg. Bend the elbows slightly, relax the back of the neck. Hold here and half splits or work on full splits. Left foot forward, right knee back. Okay, let's move into child's pose. We'll take a short rest. Gently bring your knees down to the mat. Let your big toes touch. Set your hips back over your heels. Extend your arms forward as your head comes down. Forward. As your hips move forward, you draw your chest upward. 
Squeeze the elbows in, keep pushing the hips to the front of the room. Reach back with the right hand, and then the left hand. Chest stays high to take tension out of the lower back. Eyes can look back, up or forward. Just choose a position that feels best for your neck. The point of this pose is to open up the front line of the body. So this is a back bend. We'll hold for a few more breaths. Two. When you're ready to come out, bring your hands back to your hips slowly. Sit back into child's pose. Flatten the top of the feet to the floor. This time, bring your arms next to the sides of your legs. Head down. Left leg bends. Left hand reaches for the outside. 
side of the ankle, right arm extends up. Option one, hold here. Option two, kick gently back. If it's easy, kick stronger, finding more flexibility. Chest stays lifted. Left knee behind the hip, kicking for three. Two. Slowly come up. Hands back to heart center for a few moments. Okay, we're going to be moving into another balance pose. This one is Ardha Chandrasana or Half Moon Pose. So it's a challenging pose. The first time I did it, I thought it was impossible. So what I find is helpful for people that have never done the pose or even for people that are more advanced, if you do have a block, having a block on the floor will be very helpful to help you balance in the pose. So let's start with feet together at the center of the mat. We'll place the block into the right hand and then we'll place the block directly underneath the right shoulder. So if your block is too far forward, you're gonna find it difficult to balance. So see if you can bring your block directly under your shoulder. Okay, then place your left hand to the outside of your left hip. What we're gonna do is begin to bend the left knee and stretch the left toes back. So both legs are straight. You can slightly adjust your block because we're gonna find balance on the right side. Turn your pelvis open to the left. Keep your back foot flexed so that you have strong legs. Okay, so foot is flexed, shoulder stack. Adjust if you need to, right hand a few millimeters, just finding balance. See if you can hold. If you can hold easily, see if you can extend your left arm away from the floor toward the ceiling. And this and the last part of the pose is to slowly shift your gaze. Woo! Toward the top hand. I don't know if I can do this tonight. <laughs> Take your time. If you can't look towards your top hand, just look to the floor. Holding for three. Two. When you're ready to come out of half moon, you'll bring your hand down to your waist, left foot to the floor, and then we'll relax here, forward folding. So you can move your block to the side for a moment. Hug the elbows with each hand. Just take a moment to reset. Relax the shoulders. Take five more deep breaths. Let's get ready for the next one on the left. So feet together, right hand to the waist. Left hand below the shoulder, right leg straight. Find balance, turn the pelvis open to your right side. See if you can stack your hips and your shoulders. Flex the left foot and the right foot, both feet. And when you're ready, reach your right arm up. Chest is turning open. Hold here. If you can slowly begin to look toward your top hand, see if you can balance. Ah, it's so hard to balance. Holding for three, two. When you're ready to come out, come out slowly, hand to waist, foot to floor, forward folds, relax. Hug the elbows. Even sway the upper body from side to side. Take a few more breaths. And we'll bring our hands down so that we can move back into dog pose. Five breaths and down dog. You're ready to flow, make your way through another vinyasa, inhaling forward, exhaling down. Inhale, up dog or cobra, exhale, dog pose. Child's pose to relax, gently lower the knees. Short rest.
we're seated with straight legs. Bring your feet to the front edge of your mat. We'll use one block between our shins. So we'll do a few core exercises before we go into back bends. Okay, for this exercise, the more challenging option is to keep your forearms to the floor with your shoulders directly above your elbows. Okay, if you're okay to squeeze your block and lift, you're gonna do it from here. If it's difficult to lift your block, you can bring your back to the floor and go from here. Okay, let's do 10 like this together. Elbows behind shoulders. Inhale, this block goes up. Exhale. Try not to touch the floor. Right before you reach the floor, lift the block. Let's go for 10. Exhale to come down. Inhale to lift. This is number four.
three more. So this helps to prepare momentum to bring the legs over for halasana. So this time, see if you can catch the lower back with your palms. You can bend your knees or you can extend your legs straight. As your toes reach for the floor, you'll move your shoulders one at a time away from your ears. Palms support the lower back, fingertips toward the waist. If you're not able to get your toes down yet, you just keep your feet away from the floor. Most importantly, hips are over the shoulders. We'll stay for 10 breaths. This is a pose that takes a while to feel comfortable in. If you feel any discomfort in your neck, you can come out early, just roll down slowly onto your back. To come out of this position, bring your arms back to the floor, palms down. Arms straight as you bend your knees. Slowly roll onto the back, bringing the feet down to the floor. As your feet reach the mat, Take a few moments, soles of the feet together, knees open, coming into reclined butterfly. Relaxing here, hands on the belly or legs or floor. your hips here. Okay. If you're ready to try bridge pose, it's the same position without the block. Okay, so your heels are close to your hips, fingertips reach for the heels. Press down into your feet, interlock your fingers. Begin to move your shoulders down away from the ears as you bring your palms together. Push into the feet. Strong legs, knees slightly squeezing in. Push into the feet to get the hips higher. Chest towards the chin for three. Two. To come out of bridge, come out slowly, release the hands, bring your hips down. Options are to go back to recline butterfly or to hug knees to chest. We'll rest for 10 breaths. facing downward. Lift to the top of the head. See if you can relax your shoulders. If you're able to push the floor away and straighten your arms, you'll lift up. Keep your heels lifted to take tension out of your back. If you feel more open in your back bend, push your chest to the back of your mat. We'll hold for three breaths. Two. you're ready to come out of your wheel pose or your bridge pose, you'll come down gently, carefully, hugging knees to chest or returning to refined butterfly. Taking a few breaths before we close our practice. Close with a twist, so you turn your knees to your right side, wrapping the left leg over the right, turn your knees slowly, relax your right hand on top of your left knee. As you turn your knees, try to keep your left elbow in line with your left shoulder. If it's more comfortable to extend your arms straight, that's also fine. 
As you're twisting, deepen the breath, bring the breath down into the lower part of the belly. Try to relax as you twist. Releasing your twists, bring your legs straight. Extend your arms next to your ears. We'll move into a wall to wall stretch. Stretching from fingers to toes. Gently bend the knees and turn to your right side. Rest your head on your right arm for a few moments. space we created for our practice this evening. Also, to be grateful for our ability to stay connected through our practice, through our online practice. Wishing you all happiness, health, and positivity through these interesting times. Um, please uh, feel free to message me, write a comment below, any poses that you want to study throughout next week. I'll be joining you guys at 7.15 a few nights uh, next, next week. So thank you very much. Thank you so much. Namaste. Have a great evening. Bye-bye.